Hello everybody, it's me again, and I hope you're having a good day. Now, today's topic is going to be about video games, and well, really this feels more of like a message more than a topic to all the parents and guardians that have children that are like the age 15 and under. Now, if you have children that are that young, sometimes you don't even have to really get them any like child games or whatever. Sometimes you get them uh, horror games, just as long as the games that you're getting for children that young are single player games. Now, there now for people who don't know the difference between a single player game and a multiplayer game, single player is where it's just you're playing by yourself. Just it's just only you playing the game. But with multiplayer, it's when you're playing with multiple people, whether it be the people right next to you or people like online that's like across country or across state or whatever, you know? Now, if you don't know if a game is multiplayer or single player, go to your local GameStop or Best Buy or anything that has like mainly electronics and games, and then the employees should tell you which games are mainly single player and mainly multiplayer. Get what I'm saying here? And if that doesn't work out, always try to look it up wherever you can. Now, the only time when, like, multiplayer games are exceptional for your kids are if they're, like, multiplayer games where they're playing against the person that's right next to them. Like, take, for example, like, how Mario Kart does it or how Mario Olympic, uh, Mario vs. Sonic Olympic games, you know? At least the old versions. I don't know what what's going on now with those games, but back onto the topic. So, let me be clear. Just because a game is targeted towards kids doesn't mean the game is for kids. It just means it's targeted towards kids, like a whole lot of kids are playing it. And Because if it was really, if a game was really made for kids, then it should just stick to being a single player game, not a multiplayer game. Take Roblox for example, right? Just because it's targeted towards kids doesn't mean that it's for kids. Because you got to really like dig deep into Roblox to understand what I'm talking about here. Same goes for Minecraft. Because if I'm able to play online with people who I don't know and don't know their age, then, you know, because, uh, you know, it's like, take, for example, VR Chat, right? It's an online multiplayer game. So they have a lot of issues with, you know, pedos and stuff. So what makes you think that that's stopping uh, them those exact same people from, you know, going to Minecraft and then going to Roblox doing the exact same thing. You get what I'm saying here? Because they will do, they'll make kids, because they know kids are very vulnerable and all that other stuff, right? So they'll make kids do these, do these other things and they'll try to blackmail them into doing this other stuff. You get what I'm saying here? And as far as I know, I don't think I really have much else to like say about this, except for the fact that the only reason why I made this video is I always hear like news people always talk about how uh, games are ruining children and they are so focused on that. Like, oh, these games are making our children violent and all that other stuff. But it's like, you got to realize that's really up to the parents to make sure that their kid is you know mentally well and all that other stuff not only that you it's like they're focusing on the wrong thing they want to focus on like what causes uh, uh like kids causing violence when they should be more worried about adults taking advantage of kids you know because if anything if anything that's more like morally wrong you know and that's all i have to say now, I'll be seeing you guys next time. Again, I'll be making more videos like these. Now, just in order to turn on that bell notification, you have to subscribe. Because otherwise, if you don't subscribe, then you won't see that bell notification. And then you won't be getting more videos of me, you know, talking about this stuff. And that's all I have to say. I've spoke what I said. And I'll be seeing you guys later.